Hi friends, I hope you're well. This week we continue our focus on the colors from the stories of the Bible. We started of course with purple a couple of weeks ago. Last week we looked at the color blue. And this week we'll look at the color green as we celebrate Earth Day. And pretty soon you'll hear a story from the Bible that will help you think of the color green even more. As we light our candle together today and come together in worship, I invite you to do the same. If you have a safe candle at home, like an LED one that you just get to turn on, or if you have an adult close by that can help you light a candle, you can do that with us safely now. I wanna share with you as I light this candle, a bit of a prayer from our friends at Kairos for Earth Day. Today and all days, we give thanks. We give thanks, especially now, for the signs of spring. Melting snow and blooming flowers, singing robins and flowing streams. O Creator God, we give you thanks and praise. This Earth Day, we might see these signs only through our windows or if we're walking alone. We notice that the earth has had time to rest from human activity. Even if we worry or struggle, people around the world give thanks. Sometimes we're sad and we grieve loss. And sometimes we worry about the deterioration of the earth. Sometimes we do selfish things. And sometimes we bring our humble hearts to you, O God. The earth cradles us in sorrow. You, our source of grief, grieve with her. Your love abiding always. You forgive us and love us still. Give us courage to change the way we live to live responsibly and advocate boldly, to honor and protect all that you have created. O Creator God, with our help, we will make the earth a better place. Through the power of the Spirit and with Jesus as our guide. Amen. Jesus sat in a boat when he told some people on the shore a story about a sower who planted seeds on the ground. Some seeds landed on a path. Birds came along and ate the seeds, so the plants didn't grow. Some seeds landed in dirt with lots of rocks. The sun was too hot and burned these seeds, so the plants didn't grow. Some seeds landed in dirt with too many weeds. The weeds choked the seeds so the plants didn't grow. Some seeds landed in good soil and the plants grew and grew. Jesus wants us to share God's word like the sower who scattered the seeds. Just like some of the seeds that didn't grow, some people will not listen to God's word. But many people will listen and God's word will grow in them. Hello and welcome back to Craft Time. It's a special Craft Time today. Remember, we were talking about the rainbow and the colors of the rainbow in Sunday School right now. Well, this week, as you might have heard, our color is green. Do you know why green is this week? Yeah, that's right. It's Earth Day this week. And so we are doing a special Earth Day craft. Now, for Earth Day, when we want to focus on taking care of the earth, we do that a number of ways, don't we? We pick up garbage when we, when we drop it or when we see it to make sure that there's no litter on our streets or our yards. What else can we do? Yeah, we can recycle. And so when we recycle, we reuse things so that we don't have to make something new, but we can reuse something that's already made. And this is really helpful because this 
keeps pollution from happening as much. And so today we'll be reusing an old pair of pants. So our craft today is a phone caddy or a pencil or pen caddy. We're all working at home right now. Some of us are having to do school at home. Some of your parents maybe are having to work at home. And so our desks and our offices can get a little cluttered and this helps keep them from being cluttered. And so our craft today is a special little caddy and you can put a phone in it to charge and I'll show you a picture of what that looks like, or you can put pens and papers and then you can hang it and you won't have to worry about it being on your desk because it'll be hanging up behind your desk or on the wall. And it's really a handy little thing that we can make out of a pair of pants that we don't use because they're worn out or maybe have holes in them. It gives us another way that we can do something. So for this craft, you're gonna need an old pair of pants or shorts, but pants are better. And I'll show you why when we get to the craft table and a pair of sharp scissors and a stapler. So why don't you gather those things and I'll meet you at the craft table. See you in a minute. Hello and welcome to the craft table. Like I said previously, we are making a little office caddy today to make life in our offices and our desks and things a little easier. And here's a finished product of what it'll look like. So for this, like I said, you will need a pair of pants. I'm using a pair of old jeans that had a big rip in them. So uh, I'm not destroying them. They're getting recycled and used for a good purpose. And a pair of scissors and a stapler. Now remember for the stapler, like I said, if your um, dad or mom is good at sewing, you can sew it and make it a little more permanent here. Uh, I'm just using staples because that's the easiest and most times for the weight of the things, whether it's pencils or pens or even an iPhone to charge or an iPod to charge, the weight for any of those things is not heavy enough that it'll break that little staple. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is cut our pocket out. So remember, we got to be careful with our scissors. And if you're using really sharp scissors, it's always wise to get a parent to help you. And we want to cut around it quite tight to the hem. And remember, we want to get both sides. So we're cutting right through so that both the pocket and the back of the pocket are there so that we have a little pocket to put our device in. And we just cut around. Now this one's tough because you want to make sure that both sides are cut evenly. And we just cut around. This is one of those crafts that looks real hard, but it's actually quite easy. I'm getting stuck here. And then let's cut down this side. If you don't have very sharp scissors, this could be little difficult so use your sharpest pair and remember like I said make sure that an adult is with you with those sharp scissors because we don't want to cut ourselves that wouldn't be much fun at all and so we cut out our pocket and I'm just getting ready to finish that up here it's looking good this one's going to be even better than my first one So there's our pocket all cut out. And for the string that goes around to hang things on, we're just using the hem of the pants. That's why it's important maybe to use pants rather than shorts because shorts don't always have a hem that you can use for that kind of thing. And for this, again, we just want to cut close to the hem, but not so close that we undo the stitching that's there because that'll help keep it nice and sturdy for hanging things. Otherwise, it might fray and fall apart. We don't want that. We want this to last. So there we go, our hem. And for this hem, we have it right here. We're just going to cut that in half. Now, the best way to do that, I find, is to cut it away. There's always a, where the two pieces come together. It's quite hard. So if we cut near that or even on the other side, that can be helpful because you're not going to be able to get a staple through this hard part. So I always cut up to one side of that. There we go. And you can even cut that right off if you want, just to make it easy so that there's no confusion. So now that we have it in two pieces, 
we're going to run one piece inside and we want it far enough down that when the staple goes through it's going to be have a nice amount of material to be placed in there so we have our both sides there and we just take our stapler now the staple part is the fun part because you're going to do a nice big bang when you staple that and we want to staple it so that it's i had a nice long stapler at work yesterday I want to staple that so that it falls just away from the stitches because if you try and get in the stitches the staple won't go through you get a big bang there and see how that went through nice and easy that worked out really well make sure it's not tangled and we'll do the second side we'll line that up and away we go oh i missed there see that's important to make sure that it all goes through i tried to go through the stitching and that didn't work out so well i'm glad that you got to see that because then you can know what that's going to be like here we go last staple through and then our pocket protector charger caddy will be all done there we go all finished and so you can hang that over an outlet and you can put your phone in there or you can put it on your desk to keep your pens and uh, pencil crayons and pencils in so that they're nice and close and you don't have to clutter your desk with those things thanks for hanging out at the craft table today i hope you have a good day and i hope you enjoy doing this craft this earth day craft bye Just to sustain So we 